Hi everybody, I'm Taylor. I'm a flight instructor here at SUU and today I'm going to teach you guys the basics of speaking to air traffic control on an IFR flight plan. Today we're flying out of our home airport, Cedar City, down to North Las Vegas. It's about an hour and a half south of us, so let's get started. So today we decided to do an IFR flight plan. The reason we did that is because we wanted to have a nice smooth entrance down into our airport down in Vegas because it can be a pretty busy airport. Um, another option we had was to be able to do VFR flight following. VFR flight following is when you just call them up and they're basically kind of just like a big person up above watching over you making sure that you're safe. We're going to go ahead and pick up our IFR clearance. You're not allowed to go into any sort of clouds unless you're on an actual IFR flight plan. I am. Um, Sometimes people do go inadvertently into IMC, but that's bad and it should be avoided. So what my student here is about to do is he's going to call up center and he's going to request our clearance. And once we get that clearance, we'll go ahead and get started on the flight. Solid Center, Series 33 Sierra Uniform is on the ground at Cedar City. We're ready to pick up our IFR to North Las Vegas. Hello, 33 Sierra Uniform? Yes, that is 33 Sierra Uniform. And so you're, are you ready to go to this time? Yes, 33 Sierra Uniform. 33 Sierra Uniform, Roger, you clue, North Las Vegas Airport via Cedar City, Enid, Barrel, Victor 21 is filed. Climb and maintain 10,000, squawk 4017, clearance void is not off in one five minutes. Not off in one five minutes, give center a call to Salt Lake Center Series, 33 Sierra Uniform is cleared to North Las Vegas via Cedar City, Enid, Barrel, Victor 21, then now it's filed. Climb and maintain 10,000, squawk 4017, clearance void if not off the ground in one five minutes. 33 Sierra Uniform. 33 Sierra Uniform, read back correct, and uh, give me a call back on this frequency once you're airborne and you are released. Uh, we will let you know when we're airborne and we are released 33 Sierra Uniform. So we just got given a transponder code, and what a transponder code is, is essentially it's a way for us to appear and be able to be identified on a giant screen that air traffic control has to monitor 30, all 60, of the contact Los Angeles flights. Center 13. Traffic all contacting South Ramp 2, helipad via Charlie Cedar. All right, so 400 feet, I'm going to make a right turn, direct DHK. Cedar traffic stage 6, right cross on 2-0, planning short approach. Oh, it's a stage that was doing the short approach. Oh. All right, come on. Salt Lake Legion 1604, flight level 350. Okay, so what he's about to do is he's going to let Salt Lake Center know that we are airborne and off of the ground out at Cedar. So he'll call them up, go ahead and tell them that, and we'll just continue on our flight plan, unless they tell us to do otherwise. Salt Lake Center, Series 33 Sierra Uniform is airborne out of Cedar City um, at 7,900, climbing 10,000. Series 33 Sierra Uniform, Salt Lake Center, radar contact about um, uh, two miles south of the unit the Warsha. It's uh, in altitude checks, the Cedar City altitude number 3014. 3014, 33 Sierra Uniform. Okay, so we just took off out of Cedar City. Cedar is an Echo Airport, so we don't need to get a takeoff clearance out of there. All you need to do is just kind of let the people know around you what you're doing, that you're taking off, you're headed out of the airport, make sure that no one's on the runway, you don't get any sort of runway incursions, and you get to go ahead and head out of there. Number 33, Sarah, you inform you do have traffic about your uh, 9 speed. to 10 o'clock, about 3 miles northwest bound. Uh, Altitude indicates 8,000 climbing, type unknown. Okay, looking for traffic. Okay. All right, we're uh, looking for traffic, 33 Sierra Uniform. So what Center just did for us is they gave us a traffic advisory letting us know that there's some traffic around us because, like I said, we could be in the clouds and not be able to see any of the traffic around us, so they want to be able to go ahead and keep you in the know, make sure you don't run into anybody while you're flying in your clouds. Uh, in our plane, we're lucky enough to have something called ADS-B in, so essentially we've just got a map and it has any sort of traffic on it that has a transponder with ADS-B out, so we can see everyone and we can see their altitudes, we can see where they're going, their speeds, all that sort of fun stuff to keep us in the know so we don't run into them. So if we were taking off out of a Bravo, Charlie, or Delta, we would have needed to get takeoff clearance and also if any time you were to move around on the ground, you would need to have gotten a ground clearance. Um, that's essentially just permission about where you're allowed to taxi. So as you can tell, we're both super excited to be flying through clouds right now because it's not very common to get a lot of IFR, actual IFR experience when you're flight training down here. 
So same thing with those Bravo, Charlie, and Delta airports requiring you to have permission to take off, permission to taxi. You also need permission to land. So if we were on a VFR flight plan, we would contact the airport when we were around 10 miles out, and we would go ahead and just kind of ask them, let them know, hey, we're here, we're wanting to come in and land, and then they'll give you landing permission if they're able to provide that for you. If we were flying into a Bravo airport, those are a lot bigger of airports. They have a lot larger of airspace surrounding them. So with those, you'll have to contact something called approach, and you'll have to contact them quite a ways outside that. There's areas where you should, and it's just kind of dependent on the Bravo. But you'll contact them. Um, often they'll give you clearance into the Bravo if you request it. It just kind of depends. But yeah, so with Bravo airports, you have to contact approach when you're headed into them, and you'll talk to departure when you're headed out of them. Charlie's and Delta's, they only will have ground and tower that you'll have to contact and get clearances from. LA Center, Sirius 33, Sierra Uniform, 10,000. Sierra 33, Sierra Uniform, LA Center. Good morning, St. George Altimeter, 3023. 3023, good morning. 33 Sierra Uniform. So we just got assigned a frequency change. You'll typically get those whenever you're flying cross country, and if that flight is taking you throughout maybe multiple different sectors. You could get them even when you're within the same sector. So when we first started this flight, we were talking to Salt Lake Center. We were in Salt Lake Center's jurisdiction. And now as we're transitioning more south, we're entering LA Center's area of control. So we just barely called them up and we told them what altitude we were at. And they were like, cool, that checks out. And then they gave us an altimeter setting. So we reset our altimeter. One, one. So that way our altimeters are oh, go ahead. pretty much the same. Uh, one, one. And so that way I have 10,000 and she actually low. has they want you to three three Sierra uniform reset transponder squawk one zero one six. One zero one six for three three Sierra uniform. So we've been flying for a little bit. We're getting close to North Las Vegas. Uh, we, a little bit ago, just got an updated clearance. So we've been just flying along our flight plan that we filed on some Victor Airways. We just got an updated clearance. We're currently cleared direct to North Las Vegas. So we're headed that way now. We just got handed off to Nellis Approach, which is an Air Force base right outside of the Las Vegas Bravo. And we're currently talking to them. They just told us to let them know when we get the weather. So we're gonna go ahead and get our weather real quick and let them know. So we'll probably get right. November 2 Sierra Uniform, be advised. November 3 Sierra Uniform on frequency. Roger, 3 2 Sierra Uniform. And November 3 Sierra Uniform, be advised. November 2 Sierra Uniform on frequency. Guys. Hey, Roger. Roger, 3 Sierra Uniform. What they just told us is that there's another aircraft that's currently on his frequency that has a similar call sign as us. Um, but we already knew that because it's t 2 and we're headed down to North Las Vegas with t 2. So t 2's call sign is 32 Sierra Uniform and we're 33 Sierra Uniform. So if we weren't aware that there was also a similar aircraft in the area, we could mix up the clearances that the air traffic controller was giving to us. So it's really important to pay attention and make sure that when he makes a call that it's actually for you and not for that aircraft with the similar call sign. Remember 3 Sierra Uniform, fly heading 230. 230 Okay, so currently uh, Nellis approach is MF vectoring us up. out to the west so that way we can set up for a straight in into North Vegas. Uh, we have gotten the weather. We let them know that we got the weather. So all's good and day and day. Pleasure, great check. One thirty-three. Do you look still on? November three, Sierra Uniform, flight heading two seven zero. You'll be following uh, IFR traffic just north of your position, southwest from. Heading at two seven zero for three Sierra Uniform. Uh, we will be following IFR traffic ahead of us. November 3, Sierra Uniform, traffic, 11 o'clock, one mile, has you in sight, we'll maintain visual separation. And we have them in sight as well. We have traffic in sight as well, 3 Sierra Uniform. So it sounds like we're probably going to end up on a visual approach into North Las Vegas, that's what the few two, aircraft before Sierra, us have been sent to do, so it could be assumed that we're going to do the same thing. Okay, zero Obviously, zero, zero, zero. that might not be the case, so we have to be prepared for... November two, six, Fox. We already Thank ran our descent and our before landing one, two, checklist, five, so five, we're ready to land. Uh, the only thing we need Can now is just clearance to land from tower. One, two, five, November 3, Sierra Uniform, descent and maintain uh, 5,400. Descent and maintain 5,400, 3, Sierra Uniform. November 3, Sierra Uniform, continue left-hand turn heading 150. 150, 3, Sierra Uniform. Three, Sierra, Uniform. Three, Sierra Uniform, flight heading 140, uh, North Las Vegas Airport, Southeast, one, two miles, report field and site. 140, and I've got the field and site. 
One four zero, and we've got field inside. Three Sierra Uniform. Uh, Sierra uniform. Uniform. Uh, maintain seven thousand five hundred. Uh, stand by for approach clearance for uh, traffic. Ma maintain seven thousand five hundred. We'll watch out for that approach clearance. Number three Sierra Uniform. Turn right, right hand turn, heading two zero zero immediately. Two zero zero immediately. Three Sierra Uniform. Number three Sierra Uniform. Turn right, heading two six zero. Right heading two six zero. Three Sierra Uniform. What are they doing with us? Sure, that is the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> the airport's that way! Number uh, 3 Sierra Uniform, continue right turn heading uh, 300. 300, 3 Sierra Uniform. Number 3 Sierra, Sierra Uniform, you can turn right uh, back direct north Las Vegas when able to report the airport in sight. Right, so direct North Las Vegas, uh, for 3 Sierra Uniform, we will report when the airport is in sight. Number 3 Sierra Uniform, descend and maintain 6,200. Descend and maintain 6,200 for 3 Sierra Uniform. Sight. And field in sight for 3 Sierra Uniform. 3 Sierra Uniform, stand by 1 for your clearance traffic. Uh, south of your position, uh, 2 miles. Southbound altitude indicates 4,800 and traffic is southeastbound. Traffic in sight. We got traffic in sight, 3 Sierra Uniform. Number 3 Sierra Uniform, cleared visual approach from way 1 to right. Cleared visual approach for uh, one to right, three Sierra Uniform. So what we just got was a clearance for an approach. Uh, you want to be really careful that that isn't confused with a clearance to land. We were cleared to fly to the airport, but we have not been cleared to land at the airport. So we'll still have to wait for that clearance. Call them up if they forget to get to us. Number three Sierra Uniform, uh, traffic uh, just uh, one mile southwest of your position. Uh, 4,500 appears inbound to North Las Vegas. Say we still have that traffic site. We still have that traffic inside. Three Sierra Uniform. Three Sierra Uniform, Roger contact North Las Vegas Tower 125.7. 125.7, have a good day. North Las Vegas Tower, uh, Series 3, Three Sierra Uniform is on a visual approach for uh, 1 right. to right. Series 3, Three Sierra Uniform, right 1 to right, clear to land. 1 to right, clear to land. Three Three Sierra Uniform. So now we got our clearance to land, so now we are good to go. Weird flying over. Populated. North Las Vegas Tower, Katana 857 Alpha, holding short runway. Yeah, definitely is. Air 25, did just get your IFR release, stand by for a craft short final. Air Smart 25. Aircraft at Charlie, I was keyed up big and please. North Vegas Ground, Sirius 33 Sierra Uniform, clear of 1 2 right, Charlie. Sirius 3 Sierra Uniform, North Las Vegas Ground, Texture at the ramp. Taxi straight ahead to the ramp. Taxi straight ahead to the ramp. Series 3 3 Sierra Uniform. I hope that you enjoyed this radio interaction. And if you'd like to learn more about the basics of ATC, please be sure to check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe.